So you created this amazing looking website. You have added a lot of nice content on your website, but your website get no traffic. It is not even ranking on Google. And if you are thinking about Google AdSense, forget about it. Because doing after all these things, there might be one issue with the website which might be holding your website back. And that could be Core Web Vitals scores. For example, you can see this is a website. It's really bad in Core Web Vitals. And we have tested this website is performing really slow. You can see on GD Matrix scoring 67 only. And then you can see fully loaded time is 3.8 second. And on the Pingdom tools, you can see we have 4.6 MB. That is the biggest problem, guys. That's why Google is not ranking your website. And that also can be another issue. If you don't optimize it, your AdSense application might be rejected. But the good part is it is really easy to solve these issues. And one of the most common issues, which is making your website such heavy and you have such a bad scores in Core Web Vitals. And that reason is the image optimization. You can see we have so many issues related to image optimization. We have properly sized images. We have different off screen images. And then we have serve sort of images and next gen images. Not just this guys. If I click on largest contentful paint, which is the very common issue with a lot of you guys. This is again related with the images in most of the cases. So what I want to say that if you just optimize your images, you have such a big chance to have a successful website or a blog and you will have so much more traffic from Google, Bing and other search engines. And the best part is really easy to fix. And this is another interesting thing how I come up with the idea of this video because today I was working on the second part of LCP video. And when I was working on LCP video, I see this message Elementor optimize your images to enhance site performance by using image optimizer install plugin. And then I check what is this image plugin? And you can see this is the image plugin by Elementor. And guys, trust me, I haven't noticed this plugin. And it already got 800,000 plus active installation. Seems really nice plugin. So I said, okay, let's test this plugin and let my audience know that whether they should use this plugin to optimize the images or not. And guys, this will be the real time review of this plugin by Elementor.com. So everything what I will see in this video will be the honest review about this plugin. I am not paid or sponsored by this plugin. But I can see so many nice features here. If you go to plugin page, you can see image format supported. They have not just WebP, they have all other formats which are even lighter than WebP formats. And then works in background, resize large images, compression levels. And the best part is, this is a free plugin. But you see here, do you offer support? And they say yes, Elementor team offer full support for image optimization questions. You can contact us via this link. So this is the free plugin by Elementor and they're also providing the support. Okay, so I cannot wait anymore. Let's see how effective this plugin is and if you can optimize your images and make your website rank higher in Google search engine. So let's see the current status of my website. You can see here LCP, FCP, everything is bad more than four seconds. We're scoring 65 and then again we have 2.67 FCP, LCP. They're two different ones. This is a diagnostic report and this is the core web vitals. But don't worry about it. We're just going to focus overall and you can see we have largest contentful paint element, which is 13,650 ms, which is really bad. And then properly size images, we can again save around 2.8 MB. And you can see if serve image in next gen format, we can convert all the images because the plugin says here, you can see, because you can see the plugin offer the next gen format, which are these two ones, which are the next gen format, which are highlighter. So I hope this issue will also be solved. And I'm sure when we'll solve this, the overall score will improve. It will also help LCP and other things. To optimize this website let's check the gd matrix one you can see here quickly 67 87 lcp 2.1 total login time to 69 for pingdom tools you can say it's nice tool because it also gives you the size of the current website you can see 4.6 mb such a heavy website guys if somebody open a slow internet connection it is nightmare to open this website and i'm sure a lot of you who are creating your website also have this issue because you just download the images from ai tools or from the stock images and they're really heavy in size Check your website with these tools and check if they need this image optimization. And guys, one small request to you. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I create so many useful videos which will really help you in your blogging or your website journey. I create videos around SEO, Google Search Console, Speed Optimization, WordPress, Web Development. Overall, I create so many useful videos. I give a lot of important tips and tricks. So if it's the first time, please consider subscribing to the channel. With that said, let's go back to the video. So I'll go back to my website backend. I click on plugins and then add new. So I'll search here, image optimization Elementor. So let's see if we can find this plugin. Okay, I did some spelling mistake here. Let's correct this mistake. Okay, let's see if we can find this. And you can see it's really hard to find this plugin. So let's do one thing. Even Okay, here we scroll the plugin. You can find this plugin here, image optimization. If you want the direct link to this plugin, I'll add the link in description. 
So now I click on install now and once installed, we're going to click on activate. Okay, plugin is activated, but I cannot find any option here on the left side where this plugin is. If I go on appearance, no, and then tools, no, I don't see this plugin here. Settings, I cannot find this plugin. Okay, if we click here on media, here we go. We have find this image optimizer and yes, it's right. This is the plugin panel, how it looks like. And we have other option, bulk optimization. I think it's from the same plugin. Okay, it's from the same plugin. So image optimizer and bulk plugin. I like this. They have just very few options. So let's do one thing. First, we need to connect this plugin. So you can see here in free plan, they provide up to 1000 images. I'm sure in my website, it's enough. And depending on your website size, I'm sure a lot of people will be fine with a free plan. Okay, so we have to connect our website first. So I'm going to click on connect to start. It will take you to space to connect the Elementor account. If you have an Elementor account already, you can connect with it. Otherwise, you can sign in with Facebook, which I will do. You can see I was already logged into the Elementor. I click on continue as Abhishek. You can use any other method to log in inside the Elementor. It is required to connect this plugin. Okay, I think this is not working. Seems like a bug here in connection. So what I will sign in with Google. Then I'll select the account. Continue. Okay, I hope this will work. Okay, this work. Looks real nice. Then connect and continue. I need to add the zip code, connect and continue. Okay, this was not really bad. It was real nice. And now what happened here? You can see images in plan. They're showing now 200 before it was 1000. Maybe I'm missing something. Okay, let's not worry too much. Let's see how it performed. So when I connected, you can see all the options are enabled now. They were disabled before. So what we see here. So we have free plan. You can see here image elementary image optimization. We have 200 images left. And here we can see all the images and how we can optimize all directly them from here. Optimize all. And the size of images is 8.72 MB. Okay. Subscription status is active. It's a free plan. And then compression level is lossy. And then optimize new upload is enabled. So whenever you upload the new image, they will be optimized automatically. And then resize large images. Make it check. Clear EXI of metadata. Like for example, whenever you take an image, there are a lot of details attached to that image. For example, where the image was taking the camera number, the camera details, a lot of other information, sometimes the geolocation of the image. And that is not required when you use this kind of images on your website. So we can just keep this option checked. So guys, really important when you use any image optimization plugin, make sure this backup original option is enabled. Then we have WebP and we have AVIF or you, how you say AVIF. I don't know how you pronounce this image format. Okay. But I know AVIF is much better for compression. But I think it is not supported by 100% of the browser. So let's keep it for WebP, which is already very efficient image format for images. Let's keep it WebP and then file up to all size and advanced section. So we have option to restore images, remove backup permanently. So we have some other option, which is not very much important at this point. Okay. So either I think we can click on optimize all or if I go to just bulk optimization, I think the same option here. Okay. There's same option here. So I'll go back to major optimization. So let's do one thing. Let's click on optimize all. And guys, trust me, sometimes it is really effective way to optimize your website by just optimizing the images. It is really effective way. We can see here, we have all the images here. It might take some time. It might also depend on your website server speed, how good your server is that it might take some time. You can see it's showing in progress. You can see I have such big images there, 500 KB, 1 MB, 500 KB, 1.37 MB. Guys, this is the one of the biggest mistake a lot of people does when they create a website. They want to keep the best looking images but these images making the website really slow. Okay, so 3% done, 22%, it might take some time. And guys, also I want you to comment on this video that how much was your website size before using this optimization plugin and how much it become after using the optimization plugin. You can take help of tools.pingdom.com to know what was the image size before. And guys, you can see all the details in real time. You can see images are optimizing. Here we can see the status pending for these images. But here, these images were optimized. They're optimized 63, 64%. That's really nice. Let's see how they look like on the website. And here we have the problem with these three images. They're failed to optimize. I can see the optimization level here, 35%, 42%, but this still seems to be failed. That's not a good sign. But I'm still very hopeful because this is a plugin by Elementor and Elementor makes real nice WordPress products and plugins. So let's see what will happen. Honestly, it is taking a little bit longer because whenever I use any other optimization plugin for images, they work really fastly. And I don't have so many images. I have just only 69 images on the website. But yes, maybe they're really heavy images. It might be taking long time. Okay, now I noticed one thing here. You can see bulk optimization may take a lot of processing and server time depending on number of images. 
your side will work smoothly until the processing is done without any downtime. So maybe it is doing all the work in background, it's not using so much of the server resources. That's why it's taking a lot of time. It seems there's some bugs with this plugin. You can see we have only 13 images names here, where it says optimizing total 69 images. It is possible it is not showing all the images. <laughs> and this is really funny. I see another message here. Your image has been optimized. If you enjoy using image optimizer, consider leaving five star review to spread the word. Guys, it's not completely done. You can see it's only 29%. But I'm sure if it works, I will give five star. But if it doesn't work, I will not give five stars. It's slowly moving 32%. Okay, here suddenly I got this message that all the images are completed, optimized, but not. And the process stopped automatically. I don't know what happened. So I click on start again. It might be these images. Maybe they're too big to optimize. But I can see why this plugin has so many one star rating. I think that's why a lot of people give one star rating. So maybe they need to improve the reporting of the image optimization. They need to improve like what's happening with the images because this is a little bit tricky. But in the end, if the images are optimized properly, that's all we want. 72% optimized. So these images are not optimized. Now they are optimized or maybe at least in progress. Let's see. I hope this image will optimize. Okay, here you can see now it's almost 91% such a long time it's taking and only six images are not unoptimized. Okay, guys, you can see here it's taking forever to complete the process and now you can see it's stuck on 94%. If I click on optimize all, start working, but you can see bulk optimization is completed and it still shows 94%. I don't know what's happening. So this is some bug with this plugin. I'm not really very happy with the process. Yes, it is very simple settings and everything easy to use, but I think the optimization process is not that great. Now, if I open this page image optimizer, you can see it's just loading and loading. Let me see if my website is online or not. Yes, it's online. I thought it might bring too much load on the server that make the website down, but that's not the case. Website is online. So it just glitch here. So we can see here image optimization 94. It's not going any more from here. Okay. Now I think this is the maximum we can do. So we save almost 60% size. Let's now test with Google PageSpeed inside and everything. How much score is improved? How much LCP improved? Like basically everything. So I'll analyze it again. Okay, so let's open both these side by side. Okay, you can see here before it was 65 and LCP 4.6, 4.4 and now we have 69. So a little bit improved, not much, but we want to see what happened with the image optimization. Okay, let's see what happened here. So you can see here LCP is improved from 13,000 to 6,830 MS, which is real nice thing. And that is more important thing guys, because I'm not using any optimization plugin on the site for cache. So once I will use cache, that will be really big change in this course. It will really big change and FCP LCP will definitely improve. Just let's compare. So you can see it's almost half here. Image size from 1420 MS to 808 MS. It's not very impressive score why these other images are not optimized. I don't understand their WebP, but still it, there's a big chance of saving. Okay. And then next season format, you can see 2600 KB was there before and here now 305 KB. So you can see this one image is not optimized. I think because this is coming from the Gravitar server, not from my website. That's why we still have this image. But overall, it optimizes very nicely. Now let's do GT matrix. GT max is comparing the side. You can see we were scoring 67, 87. And guys, please wait for the end of this video because I'll show you the last trick, how you can get really good scores for LCP, FCP and make your website overall really fast. You can see GD matrix score is even worse now from 67 to 58, but you can see structure improved. LCP is 2.5 second, not the best one. And you can see LCP here 2.5 second, which was before 2.1 second. Okay, we have some issues there. So let me do one thing. Let me retest this while this retesting. I'll check the pingdom tool scores. So this was the before and this is the current scores here. You can see it was 4.6 MB. Now it is only 1.6 MB, which is real nice. Load in time, one second was before. Now it's eight, seven, eight seconds. Score is same. But we can see we optimized the image really very well. GD battery, we can see we have definitely some improvement here. The LCP was 2.1 second. Now it's 1.3 second only. Overall performance score is not very improved, but yes, because I'm not using any cache plugin on the side, that's why we have all this issue. Okay, if we scroll the page, you can see LCP 2.1 second was before and FCP was 1.3 second. Now the FCP decreased a little bit, 975 millisecond and LCP 1.4 second. So that's definitely an improvement. We can see this plugin definitely optimizes the website image sizes and we get significant improvement in the LCP, FCP and overall speed of ad. And guys, this is the improvement only just when I optimize the image. If you install any basic cache plugin on the top of it, 
your website score will even improve for me overall this plugin i will give 6 out of 10 this plugin works real nice but we have some issues with the image optimization process when you try to optimize the images the process is not that smooth and i hope elementary team improve this process and we can have birds better scores i hope you are able to improve your website lcp fcp and able to optimize the images and convert them to next gen format and guys please let me in comments i would really love to know that which image optimization plugin do you use on your website or is the first time you came to know about image optimization plugin and guys if you want to watch a completely detailed video about how to optimize lcp and increase the website speed overall check this video on screen it will really really help you out